Hello, this is ADT Security Services. Call in regards to a fire alarm we're receiving. She's just part of my daughter's family. She's part of our family. If we would have lost Lulu, it would have been not a good situation. We've been living here since 2012 in Brobridge, Louisiana. We bought the property from my brother-in-law. We got Lulu in 2007. She's been with us. The kids grew up. They've always had Lulu with us. We brought the kids ride go-karts, and I got a call from ADT. They said, we got a fire alarm going off. Is everything OK? I said, I don't know. I'm not home, but my dog's in there. I was actually out of town. There was nothing I could do. But I just started panicking, thinking about the dog in the house. And thank God we didn't have my wife or kids in the house. While I was driving to her house, she called and said, Mom, Lulu's in there. What am I going to do? And my granddaughter got on the phone, and she started crying, saying, Mama, but this is my best friend, and I just don't want to lose her. I called my brother-in-law, told him to break the window to get her out. I didn't care about anything else. Hello? Hello, this is ADT. Is everything OK? Um, I didn't make it there yet. I just called my brother-in-law. So the motion alarm went off again. That's why we were calling you back. I have a little dog, but she's there all the time. It does look like the fire department is on their way out there, though. OK, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. When I pulled up, the cops were pulling up at my house, so I just took off running over there, and I made my cousin stay with the girls. And I was trying to go in, but they wouldn't let me go in. And then I saw Chris Gadry walking up, which is my husband's cousin. And I was like, go get Lulu, hurry up, go get Lulu. So he took off running and he went in and got her and then brought her back out. I carried her right here. She was pretty much lifeless. She wasn't moving at all that I could tell. Brought her right here, gave her a set of rescue breaths. After about the fourth set, she started moving again. He turned and he gave me a thumbs up and he said, no, she's alive. So I turned back and that's when she was lifting up her head. So I ran up to Chris and I took her and I just took off running with her. I finally got a phone call back and it was probably about five minutes, but it felt like an hour. Drea told me that Lulu was alive. We've always had Lulu with us. As the kids grew up, they've gotten very attached to her. The feeling that I had, I, I got very sad and actually got on my knees and started praying. And the only person I could speak to was God. Man, this is hard. <laughs> Well, good morning again. Uh, my name is Jason Shockley. I'm here with ADT. We'd like to welcome you guys to this very special event to recognize Lulu, uh, the A-Bear's uh, pet shih tzu. Jessica's the one you were on the phone with, taking that, that call. And she's here live to meet you and Lulu and to receive this award in person. So this is, this is Jessica. To be able to participate in an event like this is amazing. I think that everybody should be able to save their pets. They're not animals, they're your family. When Drea called me and she let me know that she was gonna be okay and I was very relieved because if we would have lost Lulu, it would have been, she's just part of my daughter's family. My family means everything to me. I don't know what I would do without them. A pet has no way of, of picking up a phone and, and calling in or answering the phone from dispatch. You know, without the monitored system, we wouldn't get there in time to save a, a pet or save a life. It was nice to be able to thank everybody, and I'm, I'm hoping that it saves other people's pets and families. Thank God we weren't home. Thank God that he saved Lulu and everybody else saved Lulu.